You're watching Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide, uh, sometimes with sound. I'm just saying, sometimes. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's jump back into this. I have another one, and if I can get through this, I will. Um, the again, when it comes to Republican on Republican crime, I'm I gotta say I I, I get excited, and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control, and I think I like it. Um, we return again to the lovely folks over at uh, Newswax, um, where uh, I I forget what her name is, but she's doing like right now she's just straight Jiminy Glicking right now she's. Um, but this one is uh, fascinating. There was a leaked there leaked memos that came uh, from the Kremlin that says that the Russian media is encouraging its broadcasters to use Tucker Carlson clips. No surprise at all. We had heard, you know, they, they were doing it. They follow orders. So it wasn't spontaneous, I think, is the only thing we learned from this. But I do want to see, um, yes, it's Newswax, because they snuff the news right before your very eyes. It's uh, So in this, um, I'm very excited. But we will. Uh, I, I want to see their personal take on on how they go after Fox over his comments about Russia amid its uh, ongoing war with Ukraine. Take a yeah, just comments about Russia. How could we possibly benefit from that war? We still don't know the answer to that question. But it is obvious that permanent Washington has been fixated on war with Russia We've for a very one. long time. They wanted a war, and now they have one. And by the way, the permanent, well, we've already commented on this one. I actually did this video once already. Don't get me started. Well, now Russia taking notice. Um, according to The Guardian, a leaked Kremlin memo to Russia media says that it is essential to use as much as possible fragments of broadcast. By the way, uh, Newsmax citing The Guardian for news that they need and that they view as real. Just. Just wrap that in your head, too. That uh, That's almost as big as shut up and sing for the bowling Ted Nugent thing. Do you understand? Do you understand what these people allegedly think of The Guardian and MSNBC and NBC and any of the other channels, in fact, even Fox at this point? But they have no problem using their clips to go, see, I told you so. Of the popular Fox News host, Tucker Carlson, who sharply criticizes the action of the United States and NATO. Joining us. Is it, is it that what are you doing? He's sharply criticizing. That's what he's doing. Right. Now to talk about this former advisor to Presidents Clinton and Trump and host of Dick Morris. De yeah. <laughs> OK, so Dick, this is Dick Morris's uh, broken clock moment in the sun, because if you'll recall, the last time we saw oh, the last time we saw Dick Morris um, in a video for this, it was criticizing Tucker Carlson. They're like, oh, he's our go-to dude. see Dick Morris himself. Dick, what's your take on this? Yes, Dick, what's your take on this? Well, I think it's it's horrible what Tucker is doing. Absolutely horrible. Uh, and this is a an existential fight for- An existential fight. <sighs> and for democracy, and for world peace. Uh, and uh, there are two models going ahead for the next few decades. Either we're going to be back in a might makes right world, where you go out and you grab any country you want, or a rule of law. And we've been moving aggressively mm -hmm. toward rule of law and uh, really have made that the cornerstone of international policy. And then Donald Trump got in office and rule of law. Get out of here. Now, uh, Putin is challenging that. And Tucker is finding all kinds of grounds for siding with Putin. He's worried about the bio labs. He's worried about the no. Um, by the way, when Trump was throwing himself in front of Putin's bus at every turn, Dick did not have this problem. Zone. He's worried about uh, the weapons we're using in China. But fundamentally, this is a question of pick your side. Uh, either you're going to be for democracy and for stability in the world, or you're going to be will for this kind of, pardon the pun, but Russian roulette world that Putin wants us to live in. Uh 
by the way, uh, yes, I know you're thinking it already, but Dick Morris does sound like a cartoon actor from a 1960s Disney cartoon. And I think he missed his calling. We were just mentioning a short time ago where the State Department, the Treasury specifically, has designated seven Russian entities as disinformation targets, um, mm -hmm. to, you know, uh, concentrating on those along with 26 Russians and some Ukraine based individuals. By the way, uh, while Dick Morris looks like, hold on, let me move myself. While Dick Morris uh, looks or list, sounds like one of the voice actors, this dude over here looks like a the real life version of the dad from 101 Dalmatians. So I think there's a theme going on here. I, I, and she's just, you know, holding down the Karen. Um, Limiting their access here and their ability to spread disinformation. Well, I don't think we should necessarily do that. But mm -hmm. look, the, it's very important speaking to the I, I was in the middle of, I was, I was trying to get a show on RT when it got shut down. And I was, I'd, I'd already spent the money. Newsmax audience. Fox News and Newsmax are obviously the bastions of conservative sentiment in the United States. Well. And if those entities start second guessing. Hold on. Did he just call them entities? Because that might be a real word for these two organizations. Hold on. Those two what? In the United States. And if those entities start... Oh, he said entities. It's just his mouth. Second guessing the cause of freedom and start undermining the Ronald Reagan doctrine of trying to keep these countries free, uh, then how is Biden going to stick his neck out? How He's already doing it for you. He's not wait. Biden doesn't wait for Fox and Newsmax to figure out which side is up. Democrats going to do that. How are the? They already are. They're way ahead of you. It was the RNC that was changing its platform to stop lethal aid to uh, the uh, to Ukraine in 2016. Independents going to do it. People look to the Republican Party for leadership. No, they don't. National security. No, they don't. Especially, I mean, beyond uh, Iran Contra. Uh, forget about the fact that while everybody thinks wag the dog is a Clinton problem, it was largely started um, as a, you know, as a narrative around Bush one, because the idea is that he started that to hide his affair. That's true. And uh, Bush one had uh, was it was Bill Barr that got him to um, like got, that basically blocked his journal from being used in, in the sentencing part of the Iran Contra thing that would have wrapped him up in it. Blah, blah, blah. The point being is that the first Iraq war, bull jive. The second Iraq and the Afghanistan war, bull jive. That's why, you know, a lot of us protested against both of them. But does anybody think that if Al Gore had been president, we would have been a slapdash in our response to 9-11? Are you kidding me? You think we would be in a 20-year war in Afghanistan and Iraq if Al Gore had won, which he did, but never mind. And when one of them just runs out on you, it undermines you. Look at pre-World War II. FDR wanted to give aid to Britain, wanted to give, send help to France, and Lindbergh and the isolationists, who were Republicans and conservatives, raised uh -huh. hell about it. Dem right. But now, look at this. Now Ted Nugent, the true voice of, of Republicanism, he can, he can set everything right because, you know, we, yes? Well, we're leaving at six, aren't we? Because our reservation's at six thirty. It's five forty-nine. It's I've got ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Is no one's checking their clocks? Am I the only person? All right. <laughs> my dad, my kid comes in twice because my dad sent him. Now my dad's come to get me, and he made the reservations. He made the res. All right. Don't get me started. <laughs> I will try to come back on late tonight if I can. Sam will be sing sleeping in the next room because I don't want to keep him awake. So I'll see what I can do um, about that. <laughs> they keep coming in. The dogs came in. The, oh, God. Rated, went crazy about it. And that limited his maneuverability. He couldn't do it. Yes, because conservatives have always not given a shit when innocent people are dying or wanted to pick a fight with people who were innocent. And... Passed Lend-Lease, I think, by one vote in Congress. 
Oh, he does sound like the gingerbread man from Shrek. That's a good point. And it's paralyzed, so it attempts to Thank you, Lulu Hitler. Girl. And now Tucker Carlson is having the same effect on our attempts to help Zelensky and to help democracy and to keep peace. Uh, so is Newsmax, fucko. I just showed a clip of Eric Bowling with Ted Nugent going, yeah, we care about those people. But we, I don't know. We don't. It's certainly not our problem over here. How am I? Uh, are my parents Democrats? Yes. Dick, why do you think uh, he's doing this? I, I don't know, and, and I certainly don't want to get into impugning his motives. There is a long history of isolationism in America. It was brought to a halt with Pearl. Yeah, it's a historical thing. It's not because Tucker's on the take or anything. Harbor, and then it kind of resurfaced, and then we were all reminded at 9-11 how stupid a doctrine that is, because the United States is part of the world and can't be separate from it. So I don't want to impugn Tucker's motives, but I do. I will. I will. think that what he's doing is causing an enormous amount of harm. It's making it harder for Bush to approve, for Biden to approve. What's the difference? Bush, Biden, Biden, Bush. A no By the way, making it harder for Biden to approve a no-fly zone. No, he isn't. That's not a factor. Biden's not, not making a decision or not making a decision based on fucking Tucker Carlson. Get out of here. It makes making it harder for NATO to shower the Ukrainian rebels with aid. No, it isn't. It's making it harder for the United States to face down China. No, it isn't. Because when you're... When the but by the way, if Republicans, if Dick Morris wants Republicans to think this is true about Tucker Carlson, I give a fuck. This is their own problem. But the Biden administration and NATO and all these folks are not getting, you know, getting Congress people calling them going, my constituents don't want this. That's not happening. And it's not happening. Tucker's viewers are not calling and getting a genuine response from like, like calling MTG and MTG calling the White House going, we can't blah, blah, blah. Like it's, it is frankly not a Conservatives when the national security Republican conservatives are running out on you. Uh, it completely undermines the political calculus. Um, sorry, you guys aren't a part of the calculus. Why would you be? Your former president was completely on the take for the guy who actually attacked the country. You can say all you want about Biden and, and the Hunter Biden laptop and all that mythology because it's garbage. But you cannot actually fault Biden for his response in this or all, because it's in line with all of NATO and all of the civilized world. Look, the security and safety of the United States of America is basically vested in the Republican Party. Why? Based on what? That's just garbage. I don't know why this hit. This is an assertion without evidence. It said that 70% of the Democrats would, would flee. No, it is not. 70% of Democrats would not flee. By the way, um, Democrats have more women. And a lot of times in this situation, looking at uh, the uh, Ukrainian fight right now, the vast majority of people who stay and fight are male, period. There's some variance in there, not everybody. Certainly there's a lot of women fighting over there, but you know, one-to-one, -one, most of the time, men are gonna stay and fight. Women are going to, uh, if they have children especially, or people to care for, going to do that. In a war, it kind of zeroes out any of the kind of conversation about civilized gender norms and goes back, it kind of reverts back. That happens a lot. And a lot of people are talking about in these things, of, I would take the kids and go, and my husband would stay and fight. This is the idea, right? And it's pretty consistent world over. We're not going to reinvent that wheel quickly over time. Just not going to happen. And if you'll notice, there's a, a huge gender difference in the Republican Party and the Democratic Party. So that never mind that. That being true, they're within 10% of each other, even still. Also, uh, that's how it actually played out over there. They were invaded, and 94% of the Republicans or something would fight. That was bullshit. There's, there is no way. Uh, I guess Dick Morris and Eric Bowling and all these guys are in the 6%. Most recent poll. So the Republican yeah. Party in cons Yeah, it's easy to say. Is are the are we going to check people's uh, um, their party affiliation as they're leaving the country? Lodestone, the anchor of national security. Yeah. The Democrats just live here for the most part. Yeah, that's what we do. We just live here, making sure the roads are 
functional and that people have something to eat and that uh, the water isn't poison. <laughs> the satellites stay in the sky and NASA gets funded and the FAA. But yeah, you know, we just live here doing that shit, you know, making the country worth fighting for. And uh, it's yeah. the Republicans that stand up for national. Bullshit. Again, you're on here to talk about talk about Tucker Carlson. And if we've ever needed to be united in the face of a common enemy, this is the time. Well, no, I mean, I would argue that there are other times, you know, I mean, during your life, maybe. Well, we were united in giving them aid. I mean, what, $16 billion in aid as part of that $1.3 trillion uh, omnibus yeah, spending we bill so that united. we just signed opposed it. Tucker Carlson said we were fomenting war right. uh, by giving aid. But it still passed. Yeah. Yeah, because the Democrats put it forward. Of course, but no thanks to him. Yeah. And, and no thanks to, uh, like, over 100 Republicans. The leading voice on Fox News. And it's outrageous that, the, that a conservative news organ uh, is mm -hmm. spouting this kind of stuff and spraying this kind of, frankly, poison. I don't think it should be censored. I don't think it should be banned. But we should recognize the disservice to freedom that he is doing. All right. All right. Dick Moore. Well, thanks, Dick, for coming on and attacking uh, Tucker Carlson for what we have been doing on this network all day long on all of our other shows. Thank you, as always. Uh, we appreciate it. And be sure to check out Dick Moore's Democracy Saturday. Yeah, I can't. I'm, I got a thing. I mean, I've got to go to dinner now. I certainly don't have time. <sighs> I mean, how am I going to even manage this? Yes, I've got I've only got three minutes left, so I'm going to sign off. Don't worry. It's at 730 p.m. Eastern right here on Newsmax. Yeah. America, but not really. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm sorry today's show is truncated and short. I'm traveling and I'm with family and we're going to dinner because we have a guest in from out of town. And I adore you guys, uh, but family first, as always. Um, this is uh, spring break. So that's uh, my kid and I are visiting grandparents in Kentucky. So uh, that's that's why. So I hope you can find it uh, in your, um, uh, let's see, uh, in your heart to forgive me.